Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today we're going to talk about the brewing potential possible war between Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. Now first, let's consider the fact that Nicki Minaj has had the recent beef with Remy Ma. Remy Ma had no chance of going pop. She has no chance at this point in her career of really touching that level of Nicki Minaj's fan base. What makes Cardi B so interesting on the other hand is Cardi B does have the pop level potential. And they both are, of course, killing it in their own right. Nicki Minaj has been in the game this long and she's still getting hot verses on songs. Game is freezing like it wait in the cow. Nickname is Nikki, but my name ain't Nicole. And on top of that, her brand still is very relevant in terms of selling and moving products. And of course, Cardi B, she's newer to the game. She has youth on her side. A lot of people are really supporting her. Not only the people of fans, but people in the industry. Oh man, I, I don't know why I'm so excited about Cardi B, but <laughs> we all are. Every time, every time I see her, I just want to give her a big hug. And she has a legitimate summer hit in Bodak Yellow, which I'd argue is an accomplishment that Nicki has not had with a solo song that was taking over the streets, taking over the clubs, and hip hop liked by men and women in her own solo right. So to really understand what it looks like and how it could play out when artists of this magnitude battle it out over a long span is to really look at the fact that celebrity is not real. You have to understand that celebrity Celebrity is an idea in each celebrity is his or her own individual idea represented by a brand. And Mike Cernovich, a national security reporter, says if you want to destroy an idea, you have to destroy its brand. It's sophisticated warfare. It's not played out by who's shooting who first and who can drop the biggest bombs. It's played out through propaganda, which is built to communicate and control the psyche of the enemies. So while a lot of people just want artists to battle it out on songs, it's really not like that. You know, if this was a war, songs would just be one single weapon. It's one of the reasons that Drake killed Meek Mill so badly when he came so quickly with not only songs, but then artwork and then having memes on stage and he hit it him from multiple facets. It's not about wounding the opponent, it's about controlling a narrative. Because to win beef, career-wise, you do not attack the artist, you attack the fans. Putting ideas in their mind to manipulate how they perceive the other artists that will be your enemy. So let's talk about ways to actually attack fans and get into their ideas and their perception. Number one, of course, is the media itself. Network does matter. And to hear, you would think Nicki Minaj will have the advantage because, hey, she's been in the game a lot longer. So she's built a lot more relationships. She's made a lot of people a lot more money. The only equalizer, fortunately, that Cardi would have in this situation is social media, which she she also built her brand up on, which makes it even greater because the greatest power is created and not given. But still, Nicki Minaj's foundations of relationships is a real problem because at the end of the day, yeah, this industry could love Cardi B and people could be like, oh, she's cool, she's cute, she's awesome, she's real. But if Nicki Minaj is feeding more people, at the end of the day, these people are ruthless. They got to go with the people that are feeding them so they can feed their family. And the great thing about volume is people are stupid. We're made to be wired to believe anything that has more in volume must be true or must be more powerful. There's a lot of things that we associate with volume and we tend to believe when we start to see stories coming from so many directions. And then on the other hand, the thing that Nikki has going against her being in the industry so long is the fact that she probably has more people than Cardi in the industry that do not like her. Getting a little deeper into a specific way you can kind of attack fans and getting to their minds is taking somebody who has a legitimate link and relationship perceivably to discredit whatever we think we know about whoever the artist is. Like imagine if there were a whole bunch of normal people that worked closely with Nicki Minaj in some sort of capacity like a stylist or choreographer and they came out and said Nicki Minaj is a mean person, she sucks, blah blah blah. Or the same thing for Cardi and they said y'all think she's so real but she's the fakest person I know and she always talks bad about whoever. When people see those kind of things, even being fans, when they want to support, psychologically, it still puts a crack in the armor because we know that at the end of the day, we are a distance 
from the reality. We don't see those people at the end of the day and there's a little bit of credibility in whatever those people say. I'm not even go much deeper in this video because I have all kind of recommendations and strategies and things like that, but you know, it's just a video. But I do want to go over a few quick considerations. Like one, the fact that Cardi B's brand is actually positioned a lot more and founded in personality, while Nicki Minaj's brand is founded and positioned more in having musical success. Because of the personality positioning of Cardi B, it would actually be counterproductive to put herself in the musical lane and try to go up against Nicki. But but it does also have to be considered that Nicki Minaj has not had any true threat in her musical career from another woman artist. Generally speaking, she's had a monopoly. So her brand has been strong as far as the moves they've been making, but it hasn't really been tested in the true sense of making people choose between one formidable brand over another. And lastly, there's a little bit of conflict of interest for this in Nicki Minaj, right? She pushes this woman empowerment, but having the monopoly that she's had for so long and it just being her, it will start to look like, hey, every time another woman starts to rise up, you knock them down like Remy Ma just got out of jail and now you look at somebody like Cardi B who's this media darling that's on the rise and now you want to knock her down too but again I'm not even going to get into any of the thoughts of how one went over the other or what my recommendations are I'm more interested to see what you guys think so put in the comments what y'all even think about this beef whether it should happen who would win if they did it all that stuff because that's it y'all know what to do Hit that subscribe button.